Hi guys, this is an IoT based home automation system which has been developed with the help of the IBM Bluemix and IoTF platforms. So I'll just be showing a demo of this system really quickly. But before we get to that, I'll just explain the basic components used in this project. So here we have a Raspberry Pi B+, this is a PIR motion sensor then there's a wi-fi dongle and a usb keyboard and mouse dongle wireless one as well then there's a relay to control this lamp and led to show the status of the relay and all the rest of the wires are just used for interfacing all these components with each other so this project consists of mainly two parts so the first part is where we are able to detect intruders in our home using this pir motion sensor and this data can be viewed from any part of the world through the IOTF platform. And the second part is where we can control and send commands to the Raspberry Pi from um, um, the internet or from anywhere. And we can control this lamp correspondingly. So I'll be uh, running a Python script from my laptop or if I'm having a web server, I'll be loading it in that. And with that Python script, I'll be able to send commands to turn on the of the lamp or any appliance in my home so in this demo i already have the python script on the raspberry pi running which is called the client1.py now i'll just run the server script from my laptop so when i do this python server1.py it'll ask for the command so when i enter the command light on you can see that the lamp turns on, the LED turns on, and you can see the updates coming in from the Raspberry Pi system. The, the light status is on. So you get the feedback from the system as well. So you can do this and control appliances in your home from any part of the world. And it's a really um, easy system that you can make with the both client and server side Python scripts. So this is how it works and now and I enter the command light off. Um, the same system in reverse works that is the lamp turns off and you can see that the system also gets updated showing that the light status is now off. And I'll also show you the demo of working on the PIA motion sensor. So when I place my hand in front of the motion sensor like this so here you can see that the status of the intruder portion gets updated as one. So yeah, I'll just show this demo one more time. So when I enter the command light on, the corresponding command is sent to the Raspberry Pi through the IBM IOTF platform. And you can actually do this from anywhere as long as you have an internet connection and the corresponding statuses keep get updating and we'll just test the motion sensor again so when i place my hand in front of the motion sensor corresponding portion of saying intruder gets updated as you can see here so the intruder part shows one which means that the motion sensor detected an intruder So you can just similarly turn off the system as well. Right off. And the system turns off. So you can also view the data coming from your Raspberry Pi through the IOTF web platform. Just go to ibm.internet of things, um, that particular link and click on your organization section here that will take you to this page click on devices click on this plus icon um, which was there before and uh, you can see, uh, see all the messages that's coming in click on the latest message to see the message coming from the pi and here you can see so light status is off uh, no intruder is detected the timestamp and all those details so you don't have to rely on your Python script to view this data. You can just go online to the IOTF platform and 
access this data from anywhere in the world so that's about it i hope you guys make something really cool and interesting using this platform and have fun